<laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another Pickled Dragon Unscripted. Here, as always, with Dracoya. Um, always talented and always ready to rant on all the good stuff that we find on the internet. And we actually... <laughs> We actually have a little bit of a, a hybrid talk for you. Um, something, a little something old and a little something new. Um, but they kind of go together and it won't make sense in a way. Uh, but we uh, we have a quote from Chris Cox, CEO of Hasbro. Fan and adored by millions of role players everywhere. Uh, mm. yes so there's this quote that i remember him saying this a while back um but i didn't realize i didn't really think about it where he says first off we are doing r d research and development efforts around ai D, &D has 50 years of content that we can mine literally thousands of adventures that we've created probably tens of millions of words that we own and can leverage. Now, there's been there's been a lot of talk about AI and artists, and rightfully so. Like, like using AI art does completely uh, destroy an industry of people. Um, I mean, you spend as an artist myself, I mean, you spend like 10, 20 years learning how to draw something and then AI just comes in and in 10 seconds has completely taken the last 20 years of your effort and thrown it out the window. Yeah, uh, it's like the old I remember in the 80s, girl, you know, and I was uh, a, a young gamer. Um, the, the, the terror was robots replacing jobs, you know, and, um well here but, we are yeah, it here took we a while. Are. but you know and 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 science does march forward um but you know it's 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 art is one of those intangibles that that it is uh i'm not even sure of the right way to put this or the right words to use but knowing something was generated by a computer like when i look at ai art there is a soullessness to it uh maybe it's the extra finger on each hand or the three hands you know one coming out of his back or whatever screw-ups the ai art makes but there's definitely when when you could tell when a human puts their heart and soul into a, a, a piece of art and when it's when it's just ai yeah. Um, and we already have our suspicions with Watsi using AI art. So there's been that, but you know, this quote got me thinking about the authors, those that those that um you know spent all the hundreds of hours writing adventures and play testing and whatnot, um, uh, but mostly the writing. Um, are those the next people that need to be worried about? Or, and, and maybe there are, maybe there is already an effort out there around that. I haven't seen it myself, but doesn't mean it's not out there, you know. But um, you know, never mind the fact that <laughs> he put uh, thousands of adventures that we've created, like like this dude um, or the current Rot Watsi crowd, or over there the mob over at Watsi right now that they've created you know 50 years worth of of stuff for their ai bots to go farm um you know these guys yeah. the, the current crop of authors over there have not created very high quality adventures i mean there's been a few but it's it's for the most part been garbage um the so i mean i, I that just rubs me the wrong way i and i understand that he's using the royal we there um, casting that wide net so that he can say that, you know, we've done all this when he's, you know, standing on the, the shoulders of giants. Um, but, you know, I, 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 when I look at, when I look at the, 
the quote, I, and I and I start thinking, you know, when we look at AI art, we see a mishmash of things, and and it's already been proven that sometimes AI art will just straight up find an image online, steal it, and then just mash a few extras around it. Um, and yeah. yeah, I mean that's been do well documented already. Uh, so I'm wondering if we're going to see like a mashup of lore and worlds like draconians and the underdark battling the dark war forged, you know, like something completely idiotic like that. Um, or maybe somebody out there might think that's cool, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm very curious as to see, I, I, I'm very curious to know how, they expect to put out adventures and co well content in general using AI. Um, Cause I, from my understanding, the AI is not, not really far enough along or well-developed enough to, to put together something that, that is well thought out and interesting. Well, I could be wrong, but that's, I mean, yeah. no, yeah, you're right. Definitely not yet. You, you still have to do quite a bit of hand holding, but I mean, it does put out some interesting things, but I understand your concern about this mashup. It's like, they're going to take the bodies of all these stories, chop them up into bits and then return them into something else. And is it going to be creating something that's new and intriguing, or is it going to just be this horrible sloppy monster, The which is exactly what we've seen so far with what Watsi has put out, just horrible sloppy work. Yeah, and I, and I guess if this is the direction they're going, it makes sense that they fired all their devs and everybody that ever created anything interesting. Um, and, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, and they kept the interns on, basically, is from what I understand. But um, I think Chris Perkins is still around, but I don't know of anyone else over there. And I could be wrong, but when I took a look at the roster of people, um, I didn't recognize names. Uh, so, No, get rid of anyone who actually does their job so that you don't have to pay anybody to do their job. And you can just use AI to do the work of your entire development team. Yes. Well, and... You know, and I got to wonder, and this is where the the kind of the hybrid talk is going. I got to wonder if the hiring of John Height is going to, and John Height, if you haven't heard, just in case, is the new WotC president. And he's coming over from Blizzard and of World of Warcraft fame. Um, you know, but is the, is the use of AI and the push to that digital platform, their VTT, that, that just seems to be accelerating with the with the hires you know they certainly aren't hiring from a from a tabletop game industry they're hiring from you know microsoft and and now blizzard um which it, it feels microsoft like... owns blizzard right yeah they do so maybe maybe there's a connection between all those people there but I... but well I mean, so what what I'm what I'm concerned about is now that he's going to come in, like they're going to turn Dungeons and Dragons into just some giant video game full of microtransactions. Like think wow, but as Dungeons and Dragons, you know, and then they're talking about, oh, well, we have 50 plus years of adventures. Well, I feel like we're going to do out with a lot of this homebrew and a lot of this tabletop stuff where D, D really came from and they're just going to turn the entire thing into a video game with tons of microtransactions and pre-orders and all this other nonsense yeah i you know i remember in my days when i used to play mmos i remember running the same adventure over and over again because you needed to farm for an item or or resources or whatever and god if that's what they have planned for D, &D where you can run your little adventuring group through uh you know the same adventure over and over again until everyone has has their cloak of displacement and boots of striding and spring you know like everyone gets one kind of thing it would be yeah it, you know it would be it would be kind of a sad state and then i'm sure all the adventure leaguers out there would haul those characters to to cons and say look what i got you know um i don't know i it doesn't 
it, I, I don't think that um, I, I don't like the vision of that future for for D and D. But you know, that's me. You know, there might be people out there that think that's the coolest thing ever. But you know, but I... it goes beyond that. It goes this John Height. The fact that John Height is coming in is, I, I think, Dracoy, you you did all the research. So the moment I heard Blizzard. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you might know, but Blizzard has had a lot of sexual harassment scandals with how they have abused women and how they have treated women. And they've really created this toxic workplace environment that is very discriminating towards women. women. And it's a well-known secret. I, uh, you know, there's tons of articles, there's tons of interviews conducted by people who are in the organization and they can, they can vouch for this. In fact, I, I pulled some good quotes from the internet. Uh, uh, one of the things that I pulled was from the, the, the New York Times from December 15th of 2023. More than two years after a California state agency accused the video game maker Activision Blizzard of fostering a work culture of sexual harassment and discrimination against female employees, the agency on Friday withdrew its allegations in a settlement with the company. So... This one was settled. That's great. But there there's a lot of allegations that are out there. And my concern is that you have this person from Blizzard, a company with all these allegations coming into WotC. And I'm not saying that he was directly involved because I don't think any of the names for any of the people that uh, were actually involved have ever been released. But whether or not he was directly involved in the sexual harassment cases doesn't matter as much as the fact that he was in a position of higher power. So this idea that he either wasn't involved or he didn't know about it sounds like um, a lot of crap to me. It's there's definitely he definitely knew what was going on. And he was he was he had to have been aware of the environment that Blizzard was creating for the women in his company. And then one of my concerns, the other concern that I have with Watsi is that because Watsi is creating this movement of inclusion and everyone is is doing all the things, my concern is that if John Height was involved, is he going to hide behind this cloak of inclusion that Watsi's created and just bring a lot of that toxicity over to Watsi? That's that's and what I'm really concerned about. What drives me crazy is that this is they hire this guy who has all of this baggage. He's bringing over whether he was involved or not. There's that label of, of Blizzard um, and the the work a culture of sexual harassment. I mean, it's not just like instances or cases of sexual harassment. This is a culture at a company of sexual harassment, and he's they're they're they you know published books calling the creators of Dungeons and Dragons sexist and misogynist and they're which they weren't and they they are openly attacking the you know the the like I keep calling them the giants that have carried this industry you know to this point and um and then they bring a guy in with all this, this baggage and you know they don't it's not a problem to them and i think it just goes to show the the level of virtue signaling that we're seeing it's just you know i it, it boggles my mind i didn't even know about this because jacoya you're the one that were like that was like um you know i, I blizzard you know you said that blizzard triggered something in your mind and you went straight to the internet and you found the articles and stuff and again like you said this dude was in a position of power, so he knew it was going on, and clearly it continued going on, and it took a state agency to get involved to reach a settlement, so he didn't do anything about it, so... And and here's the thing is that nothing is going to change until men start holding other men accountable. And, you know, I know women, we've done a lot to push our rights forward and, and you know, make ourselves in positions of power. But it, I think a lot of the merit does go to our male counterparts and men who are speaking up and saying, hey, yo, you can't talk to that chick like that. You can't do that thing. You can't treat her like that. And it's it's men who step in and they 
those guys are the real heroes. But a person who sits and he's quiet and just allows that in type of, that type of environment to fester, yeah, that that doesn't bode well to me. And again, I'm worried that he's going to hide behind this virtuous cloak that Watsi has created, uh, this false virtuous cloak that Watsi has created. And I'm worried he's going to hide behind that. So, yeah, yeah, he also had a really interesting tweet. He said, after 12 incredible years of Blizzard, I have ta- I have decided to step away and start a new quest. It was a tough decision, but I feel now is as good a time as any. Warcraft is in an amazing position as the universe turns 30. I have been so honored to serve all the heroes of Azeroth. So, um... So one of I pulled up a few I pulled up a few uh responses to that which I thought were just they were so funny. So there's a guy named with a handle of Armsman, Armsman. His he says translation, I think I'm too low on the new Microsoft management totem pole to survive the impending management layoff bloodbath. So I'm getting out of dodge now. And I know Blizzard is not looking great over the next six months. Just projected, it, it is not looking that great. I I when you read those to me, I just had to I just had to laugh. Um, but I mean, they they you know we had heard that uh, you know a number of of the 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 honchos from from Microsoft had come over and 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 started running the show at Hasbro and Watsi and. So it's no surprise that a, I guess a subsidiary Blizzard of of Microsoft now is is coming over as well. But you know, I I uh, I do I do worry about that, and I do feel like there's so, at like some level there's some hypocrisy there. Oh, for sure, it feels very insidious, and maybe you know, maybe I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing. And I would re- really love to hear other people's comments and opinions and thoughts below on some of the things that I've been saying. And I know that a lot of our aud- audience is primarily male, so yeah, please feel free to comment down below. And um, to those of my fellow men that actually stand up and say something when the time is right, I really appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, and I and like this video is 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 kind of a a maelstrom of different topics. But coming back to the AI thing for a second, you know, I on a personal note, you know, when I first started publishing works for Fifth Edition back in 2015, um, I, the first thing I did was I went to the DMs Guild, and you know, you know, I call me you know the human centipede. I I. I didn't read the terms and conditions very carefully. Um, and so, you know, you kind of click and you accept them and you move on. And, and but the user agreement, I, later on, I went back to the user agreement read after I'd published like five, six things on there. Um, and, I, and it read that Watsi has exclusive rights to sell those works in perpetuity. And what that means is, is what they what they say to you is, it's your uh, IP. It's your intellectual property, but you can't sell it anywhere else. You can't even pull it down and then and then go sell it somewhere else. We are the only ones who have the right to sell it. But also in the user agreement is it says that other creators that publish on the Watsi platform have mm-hmm. rights to use your IP as long as they don't just copy and paste and they give credit. Now, does this mean that their little AI is going to be drilling down not only into 50 years of content that was actual published TSR, Wizards of the Coast 3, 5, 4, so on, editions, but also the DMs Guild? And I need to be watching out for, you know, bits and pieces of my adventures in future Watsy content. That's pretty yeah. messed up. I didn't know that that was part of the terms and conditions. That's that's pretty messed up. That's legal theft. It sounds like that that's garbage. Well, it's all legal, sadly. Um, but that's why I started publishing on Drive Through RPG and uh, Amazon after the fact. So everything else I've ever published has been outside of the DMs Guild because I really didn't want to give them, you know, 
that those rights because yeah it's it's you're shining away a lot because if it's your ip but it's it feels like it's really not you know right and 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 i think this was part of the reason why the ogl thing had blown up so hard it was because the you know it, they basically re re retracting the OGL, they could literally just reprint my work and call it their own because it's under their license. You know, and, and that was, you know, part of the whole thing. It's, it's very, it's very frustrating to me, I guess. Well, so, and you caught this, but then how many people published and didn't catch this? You know, yeah, how many I, people published and didn't know? I know that I have a, a number, large numbers of people have come to me in the past and said, how did you get started on DMs Guild? And the first thing I would always say is before you start on DMs Guild, there's something you need to know. And I never, I never outright said don't publish on DMs Guild, but I have said, you know, I did lay those out. And in every single case, they chose to just publish on Drive Through RPG. Um, so it's it's a sketchy, sketchy, fine line business there. Um, but you know, it's it's uh, kind of kind of like I said, a mishmash video because so much is going on, and it's it's it seems like a nuanced thing, but when you like start peeling back the layers, of it's all very connected and interwoven, and you see all the problems that are arising. Yes. Conspiracies. So, yeah. All right. So let us know what you guys think about John Height. Is he gonna accelerate this VTT? you know, elimination of books and tabletop uh, side of the house or, uh, you know, well, how do you think his his presence after spending so much time over at at Blizzard is going to going to impact the the inner workings of WotC? I know there are lots of moles and leaks at WotC, so I'm sure we'll hear all about it if things start changing for the worse. I hope so. Yes. In the meantime... Comment, like, subscribe, and come back for another round on us.